Whacking you with empty wrapping paper rollers and pretending I was a wizard. That was really fun. I remember you whacking me in the head because I said I was Sarah Man of many colors and you were Gandalf, and so you had to whack me in the head. I remember when you told me I could be your best man. That's okay. I just wanted to tell you that. I remember every single crush that you had, how much love and care you had towards whoever it was. And if you barely knew them. Which has never been about the woman, it's always been about the amount of love. People in general, okay? And I remember in 2020, in a very, very dark bedroom, you weeping and telling me that you were finally ready to just love God as a single man. And be okay. <laughs> no, no, this is a good story. I know it's kind of funny, but this is a story. I remember you telling me, you telling me that you were, you were ready to, to just be who you were and be comfortable and, and love God and love the people around you without any sort of romantic feelings. And I remember thinking that that was probably a sign that you were ready to be married. It was 2020, so it wasn't yet, but it was a sign that you were on your way. And then I remember maybe, I could be very wrong about timing, but it feels like like next month. Like, I met this amazing woman. And I saw pictures of her and she was gorgeous. And I met her and she is the most loving and gentle and amazing person that you could ever bring into my life. Hi. So that's my story about you. It's about how far you've come and how much you've always been able to love people around you and how much love and care you've given to people. And how proud I am of you for the man that you are today. And I'm sorry about you too. <laughs> I remember, maybe this was like a year after this story, I remember I was so sad. I was so sad about something, because I was always sad about something. I was so sad about something, and I was underneath a blanket, and you were in my house, and you just lifted the blanket, and you were like, baby, are you okay? And you were like, yes. <laughs> and it's pretty accurate. I think my first thought was, wow, she's going to be an amazing mother. But my second and more important thought was about just how amazing and beautiful and happy of a sister you will be for me. And I'm really glad that that's actually happening. Um, so thank you. I want to say welcome to the family, but I feel like you've already been in the family.